welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Deborah and today I want to show you my evening routine with God. I have shown you my morning routine before because it is so important to start the day off right with the Lord, but it's equally as important to end the day off right. So that is what I want to show you today. And I'm just starting by getting on ready. So taking off my shoes, taking everything out of my bag that I had on me today. I just came back from the gym. I went for a swim and I had dinner afterwards. And I know myself, if I don't take everything out of my bag right now, then these things are gonna be in there for days. So I'm just starting by throwing my swimsuit in the laundry and doing a laundry load. Then I'm just taking the things that I just took out of my bag and putting them where they belong. Again, if I don't do this now, then these things are gonna be here for days. And afterwards, I'm just turning on the lights and I'm gonna go into my bedroom to grab some clean clothes, some pajamas, cause I'm about to jump in the shower. And then afterwards I can put these on to be nice and fresh. So to get ready to jump in the shower, I'm just gonna take out my earrings and I'm gonna tie up my hair afterwards because I am not trying to wash my hair every time I jump in the shower. If you're a curly girl, you will know that it does not work like that for us. Here I am fresh out the shower and I'm just gonna take a cotton pad to clean up any makeup that my cleanser did not get off. Then I'm doing my skincare and I am not a skincare expert so i'm just using these products from the inky list but that's it i'm not doing anything else maybe i should i feel like at this point i need to be using retinol and all of those serums to prevent wrinkles because i'm 26 now so i need to start looking into it anyways i am just gonna grab some water next because it is so important to stay hydrated and it is currently 29 degrees Celsius in my apartment, which is extremely hot. So I need this ice water to keep me cool. And if I hadn't eaten dinner before I got home, I would have made food now, but I had a massive dinner, so I'm not hungry. I am thinking of recording a video soon showing you what I eat in a day to stay healthy, to keep my body healthy as a temple of the Holy Spirit and to fight overeating and emotional eating, let's be honest. So that will be a separate video, but now, I am just taking the time for prayer and journaling. Prayer is literally speaking to God about your day, letting him know what's on your heart. And I find that journaling really helps me by getting everything out and writing it down, writing down what I'm praying about. It is so beautiful to look back through the journal and to see how God's hand brought you through that situation. In Habakkuk 2 verse 2, it says, write down the visions, make it plain on tablets for whoever may read it. And that goes for us as well. Like we so easily forget what God has delivered us from. So it's such a good reminder if you can read back on it and see he's done it before and he will do it again. Now at this point, I'm just on my iPad watching some stuff and I absolutely love this YouTube channel better together on TBN. These amazing women of God come together to speak about life experiences on their journey with the Lord, which has been so encouraging and helpful. Then also Sarah Jakes Roberts, such a woman of wisdom. I love watching her videos. And then I'm just watching an episode of The Chosen. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm watching this show for the third time. I absolutely love it. It paints such a good picture of Jesus' character and of how things would have gone back then. So I love it. After that, I am just moving to my desk because something that I'm working on and that I wanna get better at is memorizing scripture. I am basically able to recite quite a lot of scripture, but I never know the exact name of the verse and I never know where it is found. So I'm like, I need to get better at this. Also in prayer, it is so powerful to be able to bring scripture up in prayer and say, Lord, in Joshua 1 verse 9, you say that I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to be discouraged. You are with me. So be with me in this situation. So yeah, that is basically what I'm trying to study every day. And after that, I'm just having a little worship 
session, I am doing my best to not grab my phone before bed. I am very guilty of being sucked into social media, especially before going to bed, but it just affects my sleep so much. My brain is not able to shut off when I'm trying to fall asleep after having been on social media for hours. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one. Scrolling for that long basically just numbs your spirit, which is not good. We don't want that. So it's good to find alternatives and to fast from social media for a while. So I've just turned on a candle. I know this candle says morning coffee, but it works perfectly fine in the evening. And now I'm just grabbing a book to read. Again, instead of social media, this book, I 100,000% recommend to all the ladies out there, all my sisters, Captivating by John and Stassi Eldredge, all about who we are as women in Christ, where our identity is found, why we face such difficult challenges in life sometimes, this book is so eye-opening. I absolutely recommend. Then once I'm starting to feel tired, it is time to go to bed. So I'm just heading back to the bathroom to brush my teeth. I just realized that I forgot my laundry. So I have to hang my laundry before I head to bed so it can dry overnight is hung i can actually go to bed i'm taking my book just to read a bit more and i'm turning on the lamp in my bedroom now this lamp i don't know under which video but i got comments about it because it is a salt lamp people were saying throw it out apparently there's things that some people get behind this lamp i did not know that i just bought it because it was cheap at tk maxx and i don't think that we should give this lamp any power by saying that it should be thrown out it is just an object it just provides lighting that is it and Anyways, once I am done reading the book, I will pray before actually dozing off. It's so important to speak to our Heavenly Father before you fall asleep. I am done reading the book now, so I'm actually gonna go to bed. Thank you so much for watching. I pray that this has been helpful and I will see you again very, very soon.